How's it going everyone? This is EK1 Gaming here and today's video we're going to be taking a look at the stream deck and how to set it up to improve your usability or to improve your streams and basically make everything accessible for yourself. Plus I'll teach you a little trick on how to create your own custom buttons and basically just show off what this thing does. Now this is not a sponsored video. I do not get sponsored or paid by Elgato. I wish I did, but I don't. I have literally purchased this product. I will leave a link in the description below if you want to buy this product. It is just an Amazon affiliate link. It is no affiliation to Elgato. Now, before we get into the video, do not forget to hit that like button, subscribe button, and the little notification bell, and leave me a comment in the comment section below letting me know if you have a stream deck or want a stream deck and the one thing that you're looking forward to doing when you get one or something that you do if you have it already. So now let's get straight into the video. Now Elgato really spoiled us for choice when it comes to the Stream Deck. They offer three different variants of the product. They have a Elgato Stream Deck Mini, a regular Stream Deck which you're going to see in today's video and they also do an extra large Stream Deck for people who want to get more buttons and more customization. Now the standard Stream Deck is compatible with Windows 10 64 bit and Mac OS 10.13 or later. It has USB 2.0 connectivity and its size is 118 times 84 times 21 millimeters meaning that it can fit on your desk just nice it also comes with an adjustable stand and a usb lead which cannot be removed from the stream deck itself now you may ask yourself why would you use a stream deck or why do you need one and i asked myself the same question before purchasing this it's really simple to me why you need a stream deck if you're kind of a streamer a content creator or somebody that just wants to have those hotkeys to do different things on their computer now for streamers of course you can tap to stream record switch scenes and plenty more even when you're live the stream deck will still be active you can click to send gifs audio clips and engage with your audience by sending automated messages and tweets etc so it really does suit the content creator as well because simply by one press of a button i can open up any program on my pc whether that's photoshop whether that's power director or whether that's just a folder that i need to open up maybe to drag some files in to one of those uh, programs so now let's take a look at how to set up the stream deck and what it looks like when it's set up and on your computer so to start with what you're going to want to do is download the software for the Elgato Stream Deck and if you go to elgato.com you can then go to the download section select your product here and your um, platform if you're on Windows or Mac so basically select your product so we're going to look for the Stream Deck and I've just got the standard Stream Deck if you've got the Mini make sure you use the Mini if you have the XL please make sure you use the XL so click Stream Deck and I am on Windows so then basically this will come up you just simply press the download button I'm not going to press the download button because I already have it installed so you guys can see now what it's going to look like is this when it's downloaded so yours won't look exactly like this because obviously I have edited some of my buttons, if not actually all of the buttons, and they all have a certain thing that they do. Now for me, I'll go through each one of the buttons that I have and why I have them, and then you can pretty much configure it how you like. We'll go through some of the options on the right hand side here of what you can actually do with the Stream Deck, and then we'll take a look at some more plugins on what you can download and do as well. So the first button on mine is just this random circle and this is a go live button so when I'm on Streamlabs and I want to go live I press the top left corner of my stream deck and I go live now when I'm not well when I'm live and I want to stop it it'll have the square here so once I pressed it once it will then come up as a square which is a stop button so when I want to end the stream I will click stop now next is a game scene so this is the scene where I am playing a game and I've got my uh, 
my camera in the bottom corner, you know, everything going on. So this is the main scene. So if I want to just be on this scene, I'll click this button. Um, if I go for a break, I'll press BRB, which will basically bring up a kind of pause menu. Um, and it will just say like, you know, I'll be right back. Um, and then there's also a state of the game scene. So basically when I do state of the game, I have a different setup. So my, uh, my camera's in the right corner, the chat box is up, and then we have some little um, square for the actual st uh, state of the game. I then have a Twitter um, symbol, which is a live tweet. So basically when I press this Twitter button, it sends out a live tweet. And how that works is simply link your account then type in the text at the bottom here what you want it to say. So mine simply says EK1 is live. Come and join us. And then my YouTube um, link. So you can also attach a photo there. You can attach any kind of document you want there that's going to go on Twitter. So as soon as you click it, it sends it instantly to, from your Twitter account to your Twitter followers, which is absolutely incredible and it's a must have. You might already have this on Streamlabs, however, this seems to just be easier for me just to click the button and it goes. Make sure you put in all of your hashtags, you're tagging anybody, make sure it's always in there. It will send the same one every time you press it unless you have multiple selected that you can press for different scenarios. Now, the next one here is the viewers. This is my YouTube viewers. So when I'm live streaming on YouTube, it will tell me here how many viewers I have, etc. So basically, Streamlabs will tell you this, but sometimes Streamlabs is a bit out of date, and I've found that this is actually more up to date than Streamlabs itself. I then have next to that a message. So basically, if I press this, it will automatically send this message out in my YouTube or Twitch chat. So I really enjoy this one because, of course, if you're trying to promote something or you're just simply wanting to, to let people know something or whatever it is, you can press that button without having to type it out while you're streaming. Now, next to that is Streamlabs itself. Now, this is basically a button where I press and it opens Streamlabs up. So I'm a little bit lazy and I don't want to have to go find Streamlabs in my folders. So I basically press the middle button and Streamlabs will open. The way you do that is simple. It's a system open and then you just split, pick the file that you want it to open. I'll go into that in a little bit more detail shortly and tell you exactly kind of how to how to do the open programs, open games, etc. And then we'll uh, kind of look at all the other stuff as well, how to set that up. Now, next, I have a mic mute. So if I want to mute my mic, I simply just click the button on my stream deck and the red line will appear just like this down here. So that means it's muted. When it's like that, if I press it again, it will change to non-muted. And you have to make sure you pick the right microphone in the device settings on this button. Then I have clip that. Okay, so clip that is basically, I've set it up as a hotkey because on my keyboard, I have a hotkey that I press and it um, activates GeForce or NVIDIA experience, etc. Et and it clips the last 20 minutes of my gameplay. So I've just set it up as a hotkey on my keyboard and it's F1. So F1 will automatically clip the last 20 minutes of my play. So now I just press it on the actual uh, stream deck and it does exactly the same thing. Then we have our Twitch viewer. So it tells me how many people are viewing our Twitch. And the good thing about this is when you're on your stream deck and you press this button, like it says I've got two people now. I'm not live streaming now, but it just means that there's two people actually on my channel still in the chat. So basically if I click it on my stream deck, it actually shows you the people and their display pictures of who is in your chat, which is absolutely incredible. After that, I have Destiny. So basically, if I want to play Destiny, I click that button and Destiny will open. The same for Division 2 and the same for Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And then this bottom right button here is my record button. This is the button I'm using actually when I'm recording these kind of videos on Streamlabs. So when I click the button, it will actually say recording or start the recording without me having to click off and back onto a different screen. When I press it again, it will stop recording. So it's really simple and easy to use. So this is what basically I use on a day-to-day -day basis is all of these tabs. You can change them however you want to change them. But you know, for me, this is pretty much what I have and why I have them 
on my stream deck. So when you get your stream deck, it should look something like this, just with a welcome thing in the middle. And I'll quickly show you how to uh, how to add some of the things that I've added. So the first thing I added, of course, was go live. So you can basically go Streamlabs OBS on the right hand side here, and then just click that stream bit and drag it across to where you want it. So you might want it here. So now that basically just makes me go live. So if I press that, it's going to go live on Streamlabs OBS. Now you can then select different folders and different icons. So you can select from a folder and say, for example, I don't know, let's go into here and go into what I actually use active icons and I'll have the active icons here. So for the live one, you just click live. And you can see that it's got the uh, design and that's what it's going to do. Really simple and easy to do. If you want to say launch a game, you basically go to system on the right hand side and open. Drag that over whichever button. You can drag it to either buttons, uh, whichever button you like. Open and then you just select an app or a folder. So if I go to my games and I want it to open, I don't know, Counter-Strike. So it's going to open CSGO. What I do do on mine is delete the titles and then I just add a picture again of the actual game or whatever you want it to be. It can be anything you want it to be. I'll teach you how to do the designs in just a second. Again, if you've got like Twitch and you want to say a chat message, viewers, clear the chat, play an ad, sub only chat, slow down chat, you know, follower only chat, emote chat, you know, stream marker, clip it, open the last clip. You can do pretty much anything on Twitch with any of these just by simply dragging them across. So there is the viewers. You basically have to link your account. So you just add an account and link your Twitch account to it and it will create it for specifically your one account that you've selected. Now the same thing with Twitter, just basically click Twitter on the right hand side and drag tweet and then link your account which I've already linked then you can just type any text here and any attachment and when you press that button it will tweet it out on your account now these are 100% safe to use okay so don't worry about using them they literally are safe they're Algato's own um, creations I'd be a little bit wary of third-party websites I haven't used any third-party websites I've only used stuff through the actual Stream Deck software. So to ha to add the, the other bits that I've got and, and some of these little bits that I do use, you can use one that tells you your CPU usage. So basically it will tell you how much CPU you are using right now and that will appear on your Stream Deck. Now this is a custom one and this comes from more action down the bottom right hand corner. So more actions and then you can basically download any of these additional ones that you want to use now there's a lot of these on here if you've got iq which my new pc will have a lot of iq stuff because corsair is all in that computer like crazy so i'll probably install that at some point and you can basically just install it i'll show you what it does now i'll install it right now cross it off look at the iq section click on it and it will say lighting link actions library profile so you can quickly click a button to change the profiles lighting links etc you just have to pretty much connect it to the iq so please make sure you've got iq to start with you can do that with a lot of things i have downloaded a few things where there's a speed test so basically as soon as you press that button speedtest.net will do a speed test on your device so it will test your internet on your stream deck which is incredible. You can also download a lot of other things like the Windows Tool from Bar Raider. Bar Raider is has done a lot of work and there's a lot of good things that he or they have put on to the Stream Deck. So if you see Bar Raider is pretty much secure in my opinion, don't count on that. But you know, this is what I'm using through the Stream Deck app. So basically, you can just lock your computer, you can uh, adjust your audio, you see your ping, you know primary monitor, so, you know, uptime, etc. So there's a lot of good things out of Bar Raider. Now, Bar Raider has some ex additional Twitch tools as well. So Twitch pager, viewers, shout out, send message, live streamers, 
you know, giveaways, clip to the chat, channel monitor, and change the titles, etc. And I also downloaded some YouTube stats as well, subscriber count, view count, video counts. So it's really simple to use and, you know, you just basically drag and drop and just make sure you link your account. If if you guys want me to do an in-depth video on this, let me know in the comment section below because we can take a look at doing that as well. Now, let's get into the actual design of the um, the keys or the buttons that you're going to be pressing. So basically, to make your Stream Deck look better, you can design your custom button backgrounds and images or logos or whatever you want it to be. Now, what you will need is Photoshop or some kind of uh, image editing software, whatever you use. This is Photoshop that I'm using. And basically, just create a canvas of 256 pixels by 256 it's pretty simple it's just a square then select a background of your choice now you can download a background you can have a plain background whatever you want you can play with the hue saturation and lightness and just make like a, a rainbowy kind of effect background anything you want to do you can do it via this just make sure it's inside that square now say for example you want to add a I don't know, a logo, maybe it's like Algato, right? Let's just say if we're launching some kind of Algato thing. So we'll place embedded and then go to Algato and insert that into the image like so. Then when you just save that, so file, export, export it as a JPEG and just then upload it onto your Stream Deck by clicking one of these, clicking this, and set from file. Now, it's really simple and easy to do. You can find a lot of these um, Stream Deck keys for free, like Nerd or Die, etc. have some for free. I'll leave some links in the uh, description below so you guys can, can take some of theirs. And they've got a lot of kind of pre-built ones that um, they'll just let people use. So, to me, that's really good. You know, they don't charge you for it. It's literally 100% free. As you can see here, there is a lot of free ones. So even emojis, emotes, you know, all that good stuff, Xbox symbols. There's pretty much everything here for you in just one package. I'll leave a link, as I say, in the description below so you can use that if you like. So I hope this video has been helpful for you if you're thinking about either getting a Stream Deck or you already have one, you just didn't quite know what to do or how to use it or how to set it up to best utilize it. Now, don't forget, as I said before, hit the like button, subscribe button, the little notification bell, leave me a comment in the comment section below. And I'm going to end the video right here using my Algato Stream Deck by pressing this button. Let's go!